If the day of your roof replacement is approaching, you may be anxious about what the variables are on what to expect on the day of. This video is going to go over just that. We're going over the five things that you need to keep in mind for the day of your roof replacement so that you're not hit with any curveballs and you'll know what to expect. I'm Brandon Hayfley with Bill Reagan Roofing Company and thank you for watching the Roofing Channel. Let's get started. Roof replacements are controlled chaos. When the roofers are finished with the setup process and start the tear off process from your roof replacement, from that point on, it's going to look chaotic. It's going to be loud, it's going to be messy, and parts that once were your home are going to be flung around. When this happens, it's all under control. As long as you've hired a reputable roofing contractor, even though it may look chaotic and even somewhat messy, it's all part of the plan. The roofers have done this many, many times, and by the end of it, it's going to be clean and your new roof is going to look good. We just have a couple homeowners that will get frazzled when it starts, but rest assured, it's supposed to happen. There will be many vehicles. Now something very important to know is that the roofers need to use a fleet of vehicles in order to transport all the appropriate equipment and the personnel. When this happens, it's almost certainly going to block your driveway, so make sure that you pull out any vehicles in a place where you can drive them away later if you're not going to be gone for the entire duration of the roof replacement. There will be lots of noise. Some homeowners decide that they would like to stay home for the roof replacement. Now, the roofers themselves are not going to be bothered by this, but the homeowner should really understand just how noisy it's going to be inside that home during the roof replacement process. It's not just the homeowner that needs to consider the noise factor though. We've never met a pet that likes being or is at least okay being in a home while the roof replacement is taking place, especially when the hammering process begins. We would strongly recommend boarding your pet somewhere else for the duration of the roof replacement for their safety. Also, if you have any special considerations around your home, it's important to know that it's going to be noisy around your home as well. Again, especially when the hammering takes place. So if you have anybody that you need to alert that there's going to be noise on the day of, it's a good time to do so. Your roofing bill could increase. Now your roofer should definitely communicate this before you sign the contract, but there's always a chance that once the roofers tear off those visible layers of your roof, it's revealed that you have a lot of rotten decking underneath. It's quite common to find rotten decking once you peel off the top layers of that roof, so most roofers will allot a certain percentage in the budget to account for replacing any decking that they might find. However, it's not uncommon to find a lot more roof decking than that budget allows, and that's the scenario where you could find your roof bill increasing. The other reasons that a roofing bill might increase should be rare. If you don't have a reputable roofing contractor, then price hikes happen all the time. There's always some excuse that happens along the line to where they get you to sign that cheap contract initially, and then you get upcharged along the way. However, it should be exceedingly rare for a reputable roofing contractor to upcharge you anything else because usually it's on them because they made a mistake. Maybe it's that there's a second layer of shingles that they didn't account for, in which case most of the time they will eat that cost. There could be delays. Most roof replacements universally take about one day for an average sized home, maybe two or more days if the homes start to get a little bigger. However, there's a myriad of things that could extend that roof replacement by one or two days, maybe even more. Namely, the big one to watch out for is rain. You absolutely cannot install a roof while it's raining, even if it's just a light sprinkle, both for your new roof safety and for your crew safety. So the crew has to preemptively tarp your roof to protect those new materials, even if there's just a chance of rain. So that's a common thing that can extend your roof replacement by one or two days. The other common reason that a roof replacement might take longer than one or two days is if a roof is being installed with a premium material, such as cedar shake or slate roofs, in which each component has to be installed one at a time. It's a lot longer of a process, and especially it's usually installed on the more complex roof systems. When this happens, the roofer will usually give you a range of dates that it's going to be completed in, just because there's so many factors that they can't account for. Now you know what to expect and the curveballs that could be thrown at you on the day of your roof replacement. After your roof replacement is complete, you're going to want to take steps to make sure that roof lasts as long as possible to get the maximum return out of your investment. 
To learn more on how to do that, you can click on the link below or at the end of this video to watch our video on six maintenance tips for your roof. I'm Brandon Hayfley with Bill Reagan Roofing Company, and thank you again for watching the Roofing Channel. If we helped you out today, consider liking and subscribing so we can grow and spread more helpful information to homeowners like yourself. And we'll see you next time.